Welcome back to the Niagara Learning Channel. What we're going to do today is we're going to just check this surface wall mounted humidity and temperature 24 volts, 0 to 10 volts out for the humidity and 0 to 10 volts out for the temperature sensor. Dip switch settings are done up there on the right hand side and with that's connected directly into a ISMA module the 4U4A module so the four uh, U's up at the top there and we've got white going into UI1 green into UI2 and then we've got our power supply there 24 volts AC that's our power supply shown there giving us out 24 volts AC and we're powering up the Jace controller with 24 volts AC and we've got our Ethernet connection in the secondary port there at IP address 192.168.0.140 and we're going to uh, look at this the address on this is set to address 1 so zero one that's the dials on there and we're going to program this unit well not program it we're going to read the unit so i need to stop this now and let me just put you on pause so we've got a uh, humidity and temperature sensor let's just find that for you on bms parts <coughs> <coughs> the wall mounted unit and we've got our 24 volts AC in there and then we've got humidity we got temp and we can put a thermistor if we want to and we've got the dip switch settings up here 3 and 4 so 0 to 100 and 0 to 10 is set up there as well so now we'll go back to uh, move that across to the other screen. We're now going to install that onto our Trillium Niagara controller. So I'm going to use Modbus network. Modbus, 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 Modbus async, that will do for me. And we've got to set the COM port for it. Views AX property sheet COM1 and we'll set it at the highest board rate. Save that and then in the ISMA modules in the palette we select 4U4A because that's what I've got connected there. That's showing that connected on device one. These are the points that comes in there. We're not interested in any of them points. So I can delete them out and I want voltage U1 and U2. U1 being my humidity. So these are not showing the right um settings at the moment so let's just move that scale down one and we'll move that scale down one that's our temperature so let's set that as a temperature temperature celsius we have two decimal places and this one's my humidity so we'll set that to humidity, miscellaneous, humidity, we don't need any decimal places for that, might as well rename that humidity, this is the humidity that's in this office at the moment, and this is a temperature which would be quite high because I've got the aircon on at the side of me and I'm in heating mode so there you have it humidity 32 
it is uh, very dry to be honest and 27.52 which is about right for the temperature as well in here in here especially it's on my desk and the air come flowing down onto the sensor I'm full of a cold so maybe I shouldn't be having it uh, as hot as that but and then of course you can just take that values out to wherever you want to we look at the humidity point and there's your mod bus code for that <coughs> temperature point there's your mod bus code for that just out of the standard is my modules so the device I'll bring that across again it's this device here um, because it's got four cables going to it and um, set it up not to 100 scale not to 10 volts RH and the temp and that, that way it's easy to uh, set it up and you can actually buy it with a, uh, a extra sensor if you want but we don't need that we've got the 0 to 10 volt sensor built into the unit Right, thank you for watching.